Okay, so my advice to traveling overseas safely, and this is really the only advice that you'll ever need, don't speak. Like at all. So I'm an American, and I'm lucky enough to have traveled overseas a few times to a handful of different countries. I have been placed in a few scary situations abroad though, including being caught in an abandoned mall and being put in a kidnapping situation, possibly even a human trafficking situation. First off, I went on a backpacking trip alone through some of Europe in college and I took overnight buses from country to country. One night we had a pit stop and we were stationed right by a mall. The next bus didn't come for a while, so I popped into the mall with all of my belongings on my back to check it out. The place was eerily empty. As I got deeper, I realized that this mall was abandoned, and it became more and more apparent that it was overrun by homeless folks. At this point, I was probably close to the center of the mall, so I just had to find a way to get out without drawing too much attention to myself as a tourist. It probably helped that at this point in my trip, I also looked and smelled like a homeless man. This was day one of the trip by the way. I also had another pretty terrifying experience on that same trip and this was the one that I believed to be an attempt at human trafficking. I was in a different country waiting at yet another bus stop late at night. This time there was no mall but a McDonald's attached to the stop and it was open so I went inside to go get some cheap food. As I was standing in line a woman walked up to me and told me that I had an interesting face and she would like to see if I was interested in modeling. First of all, if you're recruiting models, why do it at midnight at a McDonald's? And second of all, I mean, you could have used a different word than interested. I politely told her no and kept my distance. She later sat next to a random girl and asked the same question. Unlike me, this girl seemed to be thrilled. Of course, I wasn't exactly expecting a response like this here, so I was pretty shocked. They had a sort of impromptu interview, and then the interviewee started making all of these promises to this girl about how she could be introduced to her favorite model, how all of these trips would be paid for and taken care of for her, and a lot more. Then they left together. To this day, I really don't feel good about the fact that I didn't intervene in some way. I don't have tangible proof that this was an extremely dangerous situation, but that's about as shady as it gets in my eyes. I was alone in a foreign country in the middle of the night at a McDonald's, so I felt pretty powerless here. Overall, that experience was really haunting. Travel is a wonderful thing that I feel grateful to be able to experience, but sometimes you just have to watch your back in places you aren't familiar with. Thank you for watching. If you made it to this point, please let me know what type of videos you'd like to see from my channel. I've made some comedic videos in the past, some life advice videos, and some personal story videos like this one. I'd love nothing more than to keep making content that you guys really want to watch. Share your travel stories in the comments as well if you have any like this. I'd love to hear those stories too. Thanks again.